Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Pokemon fans, and others who have upon this video? I'm Sorus Crocs, and today we got some new information for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, so let's go. So the first news article we have right here is Mega B Drill, and let me tell you, man, this looks freaking awesome. Uh, Beedrill always was one of those weak, frail Pokemon. That just, I mean, back in back in Generation One, I always picked Butterfree. I mean, just, let's just admit, it, probably everybody picked Butterfree. Um, but Beedrill was always kind. Of, I mean, it's still kind of a cool Pokemon, like you know. So, uh, to see it get a Mega Evolution is actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why that's just like a random Pokemon. To I guess they just like threw darts at a wall and then Beedrill would take. But I mean, it still looks pretty cool. It's a cool design. Uh, it maintains its bug poison type, uh, but it gets the ability, uh, adaptability, which is freaking insane, because now it's just gonna, it's basically Mega Lucario, except it's a bug. That makes no sense. And Gen 1 gets even more love with Pidgeot getting a Mega Evolution. He is now officially the first bird Pokemon of the region to have a Mega Form, which I actually was expecting Pidgeot to be the first one anyways. Uh, it doesn't look that much different, uh, except for the fact that he has like extra feathers on its wings, and then its tail feathers actually change in color, and they're a lot bigger. Uh, the crest on his head is now more crown-like, and he has like this really long, uh, I don't even know what, I guess it's just an extension of its crest, where it, just, it basically is like the same size as his body. Maybe even a little longer. Uh, and then the, the little line, the little black lines that were around like the side of his face now go into the underside of its eyes. Uh, overall, it still looks pretty cool. It maintains its normal flying type, uh, but it gets the ability No Guard, which I don't know how that essentially helps Pidgeot because I don't think there's any really mo moves that w he would miss. Except, oh, actually, no, that's a lot. He gets Hurricane. Oh my gosh, a hurricane that never misses? That's freaking ridiculous. Like, without rain support? That is that is broken. Hurricane has such a high base power. That Oh my gosh, maybe Pidgeot is going to wreck house now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Crazy, man. Now, the next news here that we have is that we have officially been... Allowed, or we've officially been told, Megalodons, Megalodons exist! Yay! Even though pretty much everybody already knew that because there's people who just like to hack their games and somehow find this stuff in codes and yeah, everybody pretty much knows that Megalodus and Megalodus was a thing. But what they didn't know, which is this is actually the cool part about this whole thing, uh, essentially we can fly around the overworld on our Lodio, Megalodios and Megalodions, which is freaking insane. I don't think we've ever been able to actually freaking do that in a Pokemon game. Like we've always had the the HM fly. But now, now you can actually fly your Pokemon around. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's ever been done in a Pokemon game. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's so, that's, uh, oh my, they, they, Pokemon, you guys are pushing the boundaries of what is essentially a Pokemon game, and I freaking love it. Uh, there's so, there's just so much with this. Uh, it actually goes off to say that. You no, know, well, first of all, you know it's, it's still gonna be the same thing. You know, where Latias is Omega Ruby and Latias is Alpha Sapphire. But here's the thing: um, essentially, there's actual wild Pokemon encounters in the sky while you're flying. That is that is awesome. Like this, this, this is turning out to be probably my. I mean, I already love the original Generation Three games, but this is officially making it sound like this is going to be my favorite Pokemon game ever. There's just so much being added to it, and it just sounds so freaking awesome. Me flying? You're going to be able to fly a Megalodios? And Megalodios? How cool is that? Like, that's like the coolest thing in the world. Like, that right there just just, just makes this game worth the money. Well, I mean, pretty much everything else has officially... There's, there's been some hiccups, but... This this right here, if you don't buy it, because of it, this is definitely gonna make you wanna buy this game. So go get it. Like go go buy it, pre order it, reserve it, do something. Make sure you get this game day one though. Oh my gosh. Now this next picture here shows off Zekrom Restaurant, Diaga and Palkia. Now what this means and this this is what what it says in the in Cerebi right now, uh in the core scans. 
we can find legendary Pokemons from other games in the sky. Essentially what it talks about is um, there's this item called the Eon Flute, which allows, this is, what, is essentially what allows you to fly around in the, in the sky. And there's little islands you can find while you're in the sky, and in those islands you can find a legendary Pokemon. Uh, so far, I mean, uh, the Kolokoro scan only shows Reshiram, Zekrom, Dialga, and Palkia, but it says that it, these little islands, these little areas that are in the sky, uh, allow us to be able to capture basically any non-event legendary Pokemon, which I'm getting, you know, would be like Mewtwo, um, Lugia, Ho-Oh, what is, um, well, I mean, Groudon and Kyogre are already in the game, so uh, I'm guessing the Regi the Regigigas is going to be in there. Uh, wait, Regi was Regigigas an event? I no, I don't think he was. I think he just needed the three Regis. Um, you know, obviously Zekrom, Reshiram, and Dialga Palkia. I don't know if Giratina would be up there. Uh, you, I probably expect Cresselia. Um, wait, no, I think Cresselia. No, Cresselia wasn't an event uh, Pokemon. You just have, you just have to use that do that side quest. Um, to go to the island. So yeah, so essentially, just any any legendary Pokemon that wasn't an event exclusive legendary, you pretty much find it. That that's freaking that's freaking pretty cool actually. Um, just even a more reason to explore the sky. So yay, the expansion of the Pokemon world is happening. And the last bit of news to talk about today is the Eon Ticket is officially making a comeback. Now, what essentially the Eon Ticket does, it is an event, an event item, which allows you to catch the opposite uh, Eon Pokemon in your in your game. So, for a Mega Ruby, uh, Mega Ruby, you would be able to capture Latias, and then for the Alpha Sapphire, you would actually be able to get Latios. Uh, so that's freaking cool. Um, now, it does say here that in the next Coral Coral's uh, magazine, uh, there's going to be a, a serial code. Uh, to get the Eon ticket, uh, but you know that's obviously Japan exclusive, so I don't know why uh, they're even saying this. That's actually kind of mean because then that means that America won't get the freaking Eon ticket. Why do you always get? Why do you always get through that? Why? Why? Why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta build build our hopes up, but then just crush them down? Why? Why? Why can't we get the same? The game is coming out on the same day in America as it is in Japan. Shouldn't we have the same? Uh, uh you know. What is it? Oh, dang! I told. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I can't even rent right now. That's, that's. I'm just too excited about this game. All this, all this information for today is just freaking insane. So, um, but that is essentially it for all the news for today. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna get like a a, a trailer from the official Pokemon website or or some new information in the uh the YouTube channel and all that stuff. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to all this. I, I can't wait to see these things in motion. Uh, I can't wait to see what flying in the sky looks like. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be like the that, that is gonna be a thing that's gonna take up a lot of my time. I can guarantee it. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Freaking one of the things about Ruby, <coughs> Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald that I always did was I. I mean, after a while, <coughs> excuse me, I was just doing extra stuff. I wasn't even concerned about you know doing the whole I mean I'm pretty sure I beat the Elite Four like 15 times in Ruby and I was just doing contests and contests and doing a bunch of stuff so this just gives me another thing to do in the game so I'm gonna be the I'm I, uh, oh my gosh I'm not gonna have a life I am officially not gonna have a life when these games come out Smash already Smash already has taken so much time in my life but now I'm gonna have this game which I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna want to drop. I'm just gonna. I want to be playing it all day, every day. Oh my gosh. Uh, but anyways, guys, this has been Sorus and Croxton. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about all these news down in the comment section down below. Um. So yeah, uh, that's I'm Sorus and Croxton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos.